Yeah, but Dustin Martin coming into the Richmond team is a massive story. He hasn't played since a West Coast game at the start of July. Hamstring issues, obviously. But, Sam, there's a lot more going on with Dustin Martin than just the on-field at the moment. Well, there is, Karen. We've been talking about this man ad nauseum in the trade space. Will he go? Won't he go? And he now looms this man as, I think, the linchpin for what is going to happen in the trade period. Bear with me, I'll try to explain it. We know he's on $1.3 million for the next two seasons. He's been arming and ahhing. He's been telling people that he doesn't love football anymore. Maybe he needs a change of location, a change of geography. So if he decides that he wants to explore his options. It opens up a whole range of possibilities for the Richmond Footy Club because these two boys, the Giants, Tim Taranto on the left, Jacob Hopper on the right, are both going. They're out. Taranto's contracted. He doesn't want to go. He's been low-balled an offer, offered less than what he's on. He's gone. Jacob Hopper, gone as well. Now, Jacob Hopper, I think wants to play for a big Melbourne club and he is thinking heavily about Richmond. But he's also got a very big offer on the table for Geelong and it has caused a whole series of events. We're about to see the Collingwood um, players come up. Geelong are out of the race for Jordan Dugowie. They've said, we liked him, we've interviewed him, we were looking at him, but we've decided we want to go with Jacob Hopper. Brody Grundy, we know, wants to stay... The Collingwood Footy Club, since the start of 2019, have had a disastrous handling of their salary cap that is still having an impact. He wants to stay. Jordan Dugowie has now only got basically Collingwood or St Kilda to choose from. Both these players are going to have to move clubs if Collingwood want to get in a Taranto. Richmond, if Dustin Martin leaves, can afford Taranto, they can afford Hopper. And Collingwood are really sitting in the background saying, well... We'd like a Taranto, we'd like a Hopper, but we might have to wait to see what happens with Richmond and Geelong first. So it's, there's it's a lot a of small, moving parts, Caro. Sorry, Sam, there's a small matter of Dan McStay as well, who Colin would have made a big offer to and we think is almost certain to go. They've offered Jordan to go in two years, I gather. There's an offer on the table. Whereas St Kilda, we're hearing as, as much as five years. Is that correct? Yeah, and they've been heavily into Jordan Dugowie for some time now. But if Dustin Martin decides he wants to look elsewhere, it means that Richmond, instead of just going after a hopper, can in fact regenerate on the bounce and they find replacements for Dustin Martin and Trent Cotchin, who are 25 and 26, right there, right now. They don't have to go back to the draft. They can still afford one of them without him, but it's hard to see them both coming in if Dustin Martin's going to be sitting there on $1.3 million. So... Watch this space. Where will all these guys end up? It's going to be fascinating. Can I ask you a question, though, just on Dustin Martin? Yep. There, where, if he was to leave, where could he potentially go? Because fitting in that type of salary isn't, is going to be very tough. For I couldn't imagine Sydney being able to achieve it. No, it is difficult to yeah. see that, Lloydie. But I'll go back to the point from a month ago. The Gold Coast Suns have just cleared up a fair bit of salary cap room with Isaac Rankin going to the Adelaide Crows. It means that this man is far more gettable than he was a month ago. But do you think there's a risk wrapped around Dustin for how great he's been? If you're saying you're hearing he's out of love with football, it's a big risk it is. on the... Con and we, we all love him and respect him, but surely that's part of your due diligence as a club. I think still, it's, I think it's a, a risk. very good chance he stays, Sam. But absolutely there is. Absolutely and they, and they, there get, is. they get one of the midfielders, one of the GWS midfielders, yep. with the money they're going to freeing, freeing up from retirements, etc. He could stay at Richmond, but I think he's going to have to be convinced to do that. And, Ross, on your point, he's definitely a risk, given his injury profile, given where he's been open about whether he's, he's mentally after his injury and the, and the death of his father. But... Given the irrelevant football club that the Gold Coast Suns have been since they've come into this competition... Jeez, them's fighting words. He, he might be worth the risk. <laughs> right. and, and, look, I hope he stays at Richmond. Sam, I, I really think his legacy is, is as great as anyone in that great club. Yeah. And, 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 and I have belief that Brendan Gale will, will work it so he stays at the Richmond Football Club. Yep, I, I think that's, that's the belief too. And if he's tired of football, he stays at Richmond because no one's going to cover that sort of money. And Richmond aren't going to let him, well, they'll let him retire, but he's not going to yeah. want to walk away from $1.2 or $3 million and, a year. And I think if he wants to retire, they're in a position to support him and transition and keep him involved at Richmond. I think it could be a win win. I but I'd him, love to see him at Richmond. You give him four year deals at the Gold Coast Suns, you extend out the money. And I you don't want to see him play the Gold Coast Suns. Why not? No, and neither does Dustin. Do you, Kara? No, of course not. Brodie Grundy's a fascinating one for me. I know we've got to move on to Essendon, Sam, but if he really wants to stay at Collingwood... Which he does. He, he's narrowed his options. He's declared he doesn't want to go back to South Australia. 
he's got to take a pay cut. I think they need to sit down, the two parties. I know they offered him a ridiculous amount of money at the time and at the time it seemed worth it, but I think both parties have to come that's to the table that's here. That's ridiculous, Caro. Well, why would, why would Brody Grundy walk away from one cent of the money that he was promised? Well, if he does, he'll have to why? walk because away from Collingwood. Because, because Collingwood mismanaged his salary. No, 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 no. I think you've got to hear the statement. The statement, <laughs> paraphrasing Caroline, is if he wants to stay at Collingwood, He'll have to work. Otherwise, I'll encourage him to leave because the salary cap's in a mess. But he hasn't he, been able to deliver on the money. But, not his fault. But if he leaves and goes to Melbourne, who, by the way, is still reigning premiers and might be two-time reigning premiers by the time... Well, he that's what there, he'll do. He leaves. He, le he goes there earning a million dollars, partly paid by but Collingwood. But Collingwood would be paying yeah. it. That's what's happening with Trelaw. I'm with you, Sam. He, 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 wherever he, he goes, he, he stays at Collingwood for the full amount or he plays with somewhere else for the full we'll amount. We'll see.